today I will be trying to break par with a $100 set of Walmart starter clubs. This is so brutal. <laughs> do it, do it. Oh! Ha, I might put this freaking driver in place. It's so good. All right, so we got, we got a little bit of a surprise for you. We told you we were doing one challenge, but we're actually doing a different challenge. Oh gosh, a junior golf set. <laughs> This is kind of payback for what you said about me in the last video. What did I say? All Chase's fault. Look. Everybody, it's Chase's fault. Blame him in the comments. Look. Rule number one is Chase's fault. Yes. Rule, number rule number two, if it's not Chase's fault, rule number one applies. What do you think you're going to shoot? Previously, I guessed seven or eight over on six holes. No, I, I, think, I, I think I shoot even. I don't know, maybe. What do you think, Chase? Six, seven over still? You I still think, think, I think that? You're going to one wait over on every hole at least. Wait till, wait till you see. First off, you gotta open it the correct way. I don't have nails. <laughs> These look shiny and bright and new. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. This is going back to my old junior days when I was five years old. Got my first bag of clubs. Albeit I can pick it up with one finger now. It's a little different. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we, we have a driver. That's big time. Hey, that's clean. Look at the back. The G1. It's called the G1. Seven iron. Oh, they've got an alignment on the grip too. It's off. It's to the left. Well, that'll help for uh, de-lofting the club a little bit. I'm seriously thinking I might break the, break the shaft. Okay, that's seven iron. There we go. Okay, we've got the pitching wedge. Pitching wedge slash sand wedge. I think you might be surprised. The only thing that's gonna be difficult is the putting. Okay, I'm arm locking this baby. Uh, it's gonna roll perfect. Dang, a little bit of offset, I like it. A little lower shaft lean and we got it going down the middle of the fairway. Look at this thing, you can actually just whip it. Oh, today's gonna be something else. Let's get started. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> How you doing? Tr trying out a new set of clubs. It's, you know what? I'm just, I didn't win, so I got to try something new. We're going to warm up with the pitching wedge here. I didn't realize how short this actually was. Just a little blade. I think that's it. You know what? I just don't want to break it. I'm scared of legitimately breaking this. That was pretty good. Now on to the next club, seven iron. Well, that's a good warm up. Now onto the driver. The big stick. We got the big stick coming. What do you got to swing this, like 30%? Literally, literally 25 to 30%. That's the speed I've got ahead. Here's 50%. That was pretty good. Quick shout out to GM Golf and Grant. They tried this a while ago and they shot three over in a scramble. They did nine holes though, but I'm gonna do six holes by myself. Um, how do you guys think I'm gonna fare? I think personally I'm gonna shoot a couple over, but we'll see. It's my first time playing with this set and it's not gonna be easy. What do you think I should go with Chase right off the bat? I think driver's the play. Driver's I mean, the play? You only got three choices. I don't Four? Think pitching wedge or seven I, got, I got a putter. This is hole one, Glen Eagles, Queens course, with a junior golf set. Par four, dog leg right, 379. Dog leg right, green speed or 10 today? That'll be huge for my putter today, knowing that. Nice little draw here. A little thin. That is right down the middle, folks. I will take that any day of the week. I can't believe I'm actually doing this video. I just had to drive like 250 yards. The real difficult part I truly believe is gonna be either the wedges or the putter. I don't know how I'm gonna fare, but I'm gonna give it my all. And I'm gonna continue saying that. I'm gonna try and break par. If I do break par, that would be quite the miracle, considering I don't even know how far my clubs go. 122. I'm gonna go with pitching wedge sand wedge here. Make sure I clean the grooves. Look at that, look at those toe strikes because of the deflection in the shaft. So that's legitimately what I'm having to deal with today because it droops so much. Let me give you an example of that, guys. It droops so much that this head literally 
goes down and I hit the toe. So when I'm swinging, the head drops and I hit the toe. So I've got to account for that today. When I go back, I'm probably going to shank a couple. I've got to run this up. So I'm going to play this like 115, 116. Downwind, 110. Oh, okay, I have no idea. I pushed it. That'll work though. That actually spun pretty good with that left dash. I'll take that. Got a 20 footer for birdie. Could go one under in the first hole. Lucky Lou, looks like your number is gonna be a little off today, Chase. This is the first time I've been back on this golf course since they renovated it and it looks really nice. They did a good job here at the Queens at Glen Eagles. So shout out to Glen Eagles for allowing us to be out here and filming. Always appreciate their support. Uh, first green looks nice. Hit it on the green, got about 35 feet. I have no idea how far that pitching wedge is going. I'll figure it out over the course of time. But as of right now, I've got a good look for birdie. Oh! Tip the edge. That would have been a great birdie. All right. I feel super awkward <laughs> doing this. I don't know what's going on, but I made par on the first hole. We're looking good. Full swing now, I know I probably hit the pitching wedge around 140 yards if I really get after it. That's good to know. Seven iron's probably gonna be, I'd say probably about like 175, something like that, maybe a little bit more, I don't know especially with the rollout. Number two, we've got a par three, downwind, 197. So, okay, so not hitting driver. I'm gonna get, use the good old 10 cup method, the seven iron. Seven iron, 190. I'll have to smoke this, actually. That went a little high in the air. Oh my gosh, it got there. No way. That was gonna be cool, but I don't have the counterweighted feeling for this club yet. I gotta work on that. So this is actually a bit of an opportunity right here. It's wild. Four. Yep, four. Watch out guys, right ball, golf ball. You know, I would putt this, but there's a couple seams. I don't know what's gonna happen. So I think I'm gonna chip this a little bit. Nice little chip cutter. Wow, my knee got in the way there. I've never had my knee get in the way. Wow, all right. It's just so short. Man, this might be too much roll too, I don't know. Gotta loft it up. But I'm gonna play this with a little bit of right to left break at the end. I'm gonna cut it though, so it's gonna kinda counteract it. So I'm gonna aim this right edge, land it just on the front edge. See if I can get this flex correct. Oh, that was going right in the hole if I just hit it a little bit. Dang, that was a good try. <sighs> Nerves are flying. They are flying. I don't know how that rolled in. Don't be a doubter, come on. Gotta believe, gotta believe. That's even par through two. There's water left, there's water right. I'm just trying to drive 250 yards down the middle of this fairway. It's a par five dog leg left and dog leg right. This is a really good hole. I have a chance to make birdie here though. Let's get it. Oh, that's a beautiful tight draw there, folks. <laughs> I'll take that. Right down the middle. I'm actually impressed that I have the control. It's, it, it, really, it really takes you just focusing on the timing and rhythm of the shaft. Okay, Chase, do I go for it? 212 over the water. Why would you lay up? 244 to the hole, a little under the breeze. I gotta turn this down a bit. Soft shaft, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Super short, soft. I gotta turn this over a little bit. I gotta smoke this. No. Oh, we're perfect. Lay up. See, told you we should lay up. Well, I hit the tree and I am in play, but I got a little bit of, I got some limbs to, to deal with, unfortunately. 
but it's not in full bloom, so I can go through the tree. Actually, I got a shot. I got a good shot here. It's 127. This is perfect. What am I talking about? Laid it perfectly. 126, pitching wedge into the wind. I don't know if I can get there with this. I seriously don't think I can get there with this. Okay, so I'm gonna go seven iron. Take a little bit off of it. Whew, yeah, I actually like this. Ah, oh, this is perfect. Just tap it in. Get on the green. Okay, that's on the green. Not anywhere close to where I was aiming. Look at that line goal. <laughs> a little toe deep, folks. I gotta get my hands lower. But we've got a chance for birdie, albeit from 70 million feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 18, 19, 21. 21, 22, 20, 67 feet. All right, I'm going to the edge of that cart. So if you look behind, if you line it up, I'm trying to go at the edge of the cart and just barely get it trickling over the edge. 15 feet to the top, we're 67 feet, so 52 footer down the hill. It's gonna be like 50 feet. I gotta hit this first part 50 feet. I have no clue how hard to hit this, but I'm gonna give it my, I'm gonna give it my best. 50 feet, come on. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, that's perfect. What a putt! What a putt! What a putt! That's a par five. Not a birdie, but we're even through three. I'll take that considering I've never played with these clubs. 175. I gotta hit this thing 165. This is gonna be like a 1030 seven iron. go. That's just short. Dude, this is, this is so brutal. <laughs> That's okay though. We still got a chance to get up and down and you know what? These are the toughest holes, the par threes. If I can par this hole, we're well on our way to breaking three over. I want to break par though. All right. I got a wedge here, pitching wedge and putter. I'm off to the right, short of the green. It is very difficult to gauge how far that club goes. That's why it's a great challenge. Okay, this is actually a pretty simple chip up the hill. It should go just a little bit left. Let's see if we can knock this one in. Landed about four yards on the green. You gotta have really delicate hands with these clubs. Do it, do it! Oh! No! Son of a gun, I legitimately thought I made that. What the heck, Chase, why'd you spook it? All right, well, that's a par. Well, don't speak it into existence yet. I could miss this, especially not lining the dimples up. Oh, we're good. Whew, I went in the right edge. Gotta be careful with that right there. All right, good up and down, solid up and down, even through four. We're on a roll. I'd like to make a birdie though. Let's get after it. It's a par four, dog leg right. 425 yards or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna try and play this. Okay, you guys see this? Look, look. Right at that corner block stone, just left of the bunker. That's kind of where I'm aiming. I think that's a perfect play. Let's go for it. Ha! <laughs> I might put this freaking driver in play. This is so good. <laughs> 55 actually, 55. <clears throat> do you think I can get a pitching wedge there? What do you think? There's no way you get pitching wedge there. You don't think so? No way. <laughs> okay. Maybe like 20 yards short. Don't you ever put those words in my mouth. Don't you ever. Okay, that's enough Chase. Thank you. Good night. I don't like it when Chase questions my ability. Mm. Get your words out of my mouth. I can do it. I did it. See, proved it. Just right there. That was pretty lucky. <laughs> I smoked it. <laughs> well, what do we have here? <laughs> Seems to me like a great shot.
Well, maybe if I started trash talking you at all the majors, you just went. Okay. <laughs> all right. This is big. This is 11 feet, 10 and a half feet. Down the hill, breaking right. I did leave myself on the wrong side of the hill, but still a great chance for Birdie to go one under here. Ah, oh, that looks right. It's 11 feet. Chase, what do you see? Two cups left. Two, I actually like that read. I actually like that read, surprisingly, Chase. Good read. If this goes in, I give all the credit to you on this hole, okay? Oh, a little down the hill. It's gonna require some soft hands. Soft hands. Where are we on that one, Chase? Well, if you just listened to my read, you might have made it. <laughs> I aimed at two cups left. Gosh dang it, Chase. That's well, a par. I just pulled it. Gosh dang it. Even okay. through five is pretty Even good. through five, solid. Let's see what we can do on the six hole. If I can bury this hole and go one under, Told you. All right, we have 467. This is the longest hole, relatively speaking. Par five was obviously pretty long, number three, but this is the longest par four I have. It is downwind, it's 230 over the water. Can I reach the green in two? I think I can. I gotta make birdie here to get one under. This might be where you fall apart. You know, I should have had you at Augusta being really positive on the bag as a caddy, par three contest. I'm gonna give it a little extra here. Got to time it up though wisely. Is that over 230? That thing went 263 yards. <laughs> that was 263. I'll take that any day of the week. That's like a foreign for me actually. So quite impressed with the performance of the driver today. We have 100 or 200 yards in here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get there. I'm gonna try my best. 184. What would 184 be in your bag? A pitching wedge. This is 205. Chase, I gotta hit one, another one of those smooth bombers out there with a seven iron this time. Not the pitching wedge, the seven iron. Make sure the grooves are clean. This is actually gonna be the most difficult shot of the day because I've not hit the seven iron well at all. And I don't know if I can control the shaft because it's too flat. It's a super flat golf club. Because my goal is to get it just a little left of the flag of the wind, aid it in getting there. Hopefully I can spin it a little bit. But I gotta smoke this and get it over the water. There's water short of this green. A little bit of rough short too, but I'm, I'm trying to make birdie here. So give myself about a 15 footer and knock it in for birdie. What a challenge, folks. What could I do in 18 holes with it? What do you guys think? I think I might be able to break par actually if I put just a little bit of effort into it. Oh no, that's left. Okay, that's on the green. Wow, that was perfect distance too. I just overcompensated because with the flat lie, I turned it over. Dang it. I gotta make a long bomb. Let's see what we got. Landed all the way back here. Look at the rollout. I really had no room to land it. Landed back here and rolled out 25, 30 feet. What are you gonna give me if I make this chase? If you make this shot right here, when you guys break 50, whenever that will be probably- What, what, no, 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 no. I didn't add that into the picture. I said, what if I make this putt, what will you do? If Something, you make this you... putt, I'll throw him in the water. Yes. Okay. Chase is gonna go in the water. 66 feet, Chase. You know what the odds of me making this are with this putter? Less than 1%. Great guess. It's for like 0.05%. 66 feet, breaking right. Oh! Son of a gun! I wanted that. How about if you miss this? I get a caddy for you in the par three contest next year at Augusta. Okay, I gotta make it. Damn it. That's six holes. That's a junior golf set. Four clubs. Bends more than a rope. I just shot even. We'll see you guys next time.